Big storm coming, lots of rain. And Nikki. Hi. Okay, let's get you down. And I bet you're wondering how we got here and who these people are. And well, that's a little bit of a story. Ooh. Okay. Okay, you can get me on now. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while since we've invited total strangers into our home, and since we're setting sail for a new country, it seemed like a good time to extend an invitation. Hello. Hey, Julie. It's actually, it's Nikki and Jason. Hi. Hey, Julie. Uh, what's your spirit animal? <laughs> uh, we were just kidding. We were really just calling to find out. If you want to join us to sail to... Wherever it is we decide to go. <laughs> Amazing! Her spirit animal is it's a dolphin. dolphin. <laughs> and yes, she wants to join us to sail wherever the hell we're going. She's super excited, yeah. Uh. You made it! <laughs> I give you a little... Uh, little I smell uh, really bad. Yeah, we don't smell like this. Welcome to Tahiti, yes. Uh, George and Julie don't have a lot of sailing experience, and so before we head out into the endless blue, we thought we'd better give them a little taste of the island. Woohoo! That feels awesome! <laughs> don't get jealous, Julie. They'll probably make another one for you. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> and you wear it well. <laughs> Yorana! You know, something to dream about when we're all riding out storms and fixing leaky hatches. But this is boat life, so it isn't all lily pads and waterfalls. It didn't take long for the drama to show up. Mm. It's very comforting. Man, the currents have been just nuts the past couple weeks. This guy, just a month ago, was way over there by that marker, like way over there. And in the past month, it's moved way over here, and now it's coming right at us. Like, it's like our boat's a magnet or something, and it keeps coming closer. It's ridiculous. I've dreamed about a lot of things that could potentially sink our home, but never have I ever considered that a partially sunken boat might hit us. Yeah, I can see it, Julie. Have sunken trimer in. Jason connected to said sunken trimer in. Got George filling up the gas jerry cans. Jason's filling up the boat. You're not quite to a half yet. Nice angle, honey. Nice angle. Whoop, whoop. Maruru Bye. Bye-bye. Groceries. Duty-free booze, it's like half the know, price. Third of that's like 70% off the store price, which is great. Which is like normal price. Yeah, like normal American prices. Maybe some things were a little bit less expensive than American prices, like French wine. Um we have to leave today. Literally in what eight hours? And the weather is not looking so hot two little cyclonic actions just south of Rarotonga, which is kind of where we're heading in the southern part of the Cook Islands. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. To ease in the new crew, we decided to make the overnight sail to Huahini and wait for a better weather window. The spinnaker was flying and all was grand until... Woo, okay, we got a storm coming. Big storm coming, lots of rain. And Nikki. Hi. 
Oh. Okay, let's get you down. Okay, very slowly let me down, Julie. All right, jam her off. <laughs> she, she wants no evidence of if I go down. <laughs> that's good, that's good, yeah. Okay, very slow. We wanted to get the spinnaker down before the storms hit, but one wave and a slight slip of the hand is all it took to send the spinnaker line whipping. And don't you know, it perfectly wrapped itself around the radar. I know it doesn't look like a ton of movement, but from 35 feet up, every sway feels intense. I just keep reminding myself that if I lose my grip, I get to see what it's like to be a human tetherball. Oh, thank you, Julie, for not killing me. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, woo! All that fuss and the storms moved on, and so did our wind. this baguette stand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, when we checked out, our agent said, I know there's bad weather. Just as long as you don't go to Bora Bora for a couple weeks, you'll be fine. So instead, we came to Huaini. We tied up to the mooring ball. We only needed two days. Now we have what looks like perfect weather. And I say it looks like because it's always a prediction, not a premonition, as Nikki says. Hopefully, we'll be there for Rarotonga, Cook Islands, three and a half days. 500 miles, we're gonna be flying, baby. <laughs> we are gonna be, well, we're not flying right now. No. But if we hit that weather, we will be. Yeah. The weather looks perfect. But don't worry, to our new crew, <laughs> it's gonna be totally fine. Seas are gonna be great. <laughs> First big passage, are you excited? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Super excited. <laughs> You're really excited to get up at 3 a.m., right? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not so excited about that part, but hey, it goes with the territory, right? <laughs> Not wait to actually experience a passage, be out there overnight to see the bioluminescence, fingers crossed. And you? Ah, uh, you better get out your fishing line because there's a bunch of birds fishing right in front of us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go a little fishing. Give me some other fishing. How about you for passage? I'm a little nervous about that weather, but excited about it at the same time. Looking forward to new territory feels really weird. I'm not gonna lie. You're leaving. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, we've gotten so used to being here. I'm like, well, we're just coming back, right? I mean, we'll be here again, but we're not. That, like, that's it. Bon voyage. Bon journey. Is there like a reset that turns it off and turns it back on? What's I'm happening? A bit. We got some wind, baby. Yeah. 20 knots of true wind. Nice. We'll be there two days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so we still need to adjust the autopilot. Jeez. Stuff not working right? Radar's not working, autopilot's not working right. Water maker's broken. <laughs> it's a perfect time to be on a bed. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Just another day of sailing, right? <laughs> Sunset is epic. The wind is not. <laughs> we have like I think 1.5 knots right now.
before I lose. 438 nautical miles to go. Where should I go? Did I do enough to feed my soul? But you never thought you'd be dumping your pee overboard. <laughs> In the middle of the open ocean. Yeah, I know. I ride a fucking bus to California piss house. That's a that's a fun time. But you for this. Yeah. Of all the things you thought you'd be doing on that's this right. trip, that probably was not <laughs> top of mind. <laughs> experienced a stronger sense of responsibility than when we have new sailors on board. All my fears scream at me to shove them in a cabin and not let them out until we're inside of land. But out here, fear is a familiar voice, and knowledge is the only thing that quiets that beast. Okay, the more we learn, and the more those around us learn, the more confident we all are. Okay, take it up. One more click. Tighten this line up, which is going to help bring the back of the sail in. Okay. How's that look? That looks better. Now, curiosity split the bed so we can sleep easier. <laughs> Assuming we don't get any more wind. Yeah, I see slipped a little bit. Ooh, we are getting blown around. Yes, but the sunset behind you is pretty lovely. There's no time to enjoy that. Did you see there's no time to enjoy that? It's always time to enjoy that. How's it looking, Captain? It's alright. Autopilot's holding pretty well. We're doing a lot of wandering, so I don't know if I have it tweaked just right. But it's hard to tell when you have like 10 foot swell.
That's what she said. This is definitely exciting. I'm not tired anymore. Jeez, we're getting flopped around, knocked around. And the autopilot is just not trustworthy right now. Alright, little hand steering never hurt anybody. Julie. It be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then we want to remember to watch the line over here just to make okay. sure that it stays clear. And if it looks like it's going to get caught on anything, we, we tell them to wait. Okay. Woohoo! Nice job. All right, so Julie, it looks like our side is a little too tight. You can go ahead and let her a little bit of it out. There you go. Way better, way, way, way better. It's like we put up the spinnaker and bam, 20 knots of wind hit. Boom, the seas got rough. It was just like nuts. The autopilot was going crazy. So then we said, oh, screw it. We'll bring it down. We'll move it over the other side. And now we're going back to our course. 12 knots of true wind. This is like... This is like heavenly spinning or whatever. This is... Now you're happy. Now I'm happy. You weren't happy before. No. I was not happy about putting that thing up. It's all good now. All good. Got Julie and George in the kitchen cooking up some lunch. What did you say we're having, George? Now you we'll, call it, it. we'll call it burritos, but it's chickpeas and onions and peppers and all kinds of good stuff. And how is it cooking for you in the kitchen underway like this? We will uh, repeat uh, interesting. Now you gotta like prop yourself up against this, and then when you're towing around, you gotta prop yourself up this way, and then when you gotta get something, you gotta prop your butt up this way to get to that. <laughs> so, interesting. You're getting the hang of it. Yeah. I think so. This is having down to the art form that you do. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. What did you have, like three different pots you were working on last night? Oh, Actually, that was mental. One at a time. That was totally crazy. Like, I'm doing good just to keep this one flying that way. <laughs> And no seasickness, like everybody's feeling good. Yeah, that's actually been really good. A little fuzzy at first when we first left, but everything's all cool now. Yeah. Reading books in a whole lot of hours. Nah, uh, not quite ready for that. <laughs> I'm not reading books good, but I am just sitting out on, on the deck, just chilling and watching the ocean go by. That's plenty good. 275 nautical miles left to go. We sailed 163 nautical miles in the last 24 hours, which is an average of... Put it on the screen because I'm not doing the math. <laughs> night for sure. We had 25 knots earlier. We got the main double reefed. We got the Genoa on the first reef. We got storms all around us. Now we're only about 13 knots to land so oh so frustrating. Oh and the worst part when I sat here last night at midnight and started my shift there was 53 hours left in our sail. Well, now the ETA says 63 hours left. <laughs> 24 hours later and we've somehow lost 10 hours. I mean, obviously it's based on wind, but I don't know. 
it always like sort of crushes your optimism <laughs> to look at that number and see that it keeps going up and up. And up. Quick side note here, we're sailing from uh, Huahini to Rarotonga. And if we could sail in a perfectly straight line, it'd be about 560 nautical miles. But because we're sailing, we're using the wind. That's wind. And the wind is constantly changing. Woohoo! Uh, so we are tacking, not sailing in a straight line. And that's why it's adding way more time and way more nautical miles to our sail. Ah. Yay, sail. <laughs> well, we've gone from super rainy and crazy winds to blue skies and sunshine. It's nuts, just nuts. And of course, now that we've taken the reef out and gotten the sails all set, it's looking like it's spinnaker weather. So another sail change. Right? Hey man, oh. <laughs> One of your curls is out of control. Okay, what are you telling me? I drew him 44 miles to go. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> Gotta get your lighting just right. Make sure you look good, you know. Well, well, yeah. I mean, here, let me adjust my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did bring your, uh, your fancy wear, right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're down to our last hopefully, unless something crazy happens, 24 hours. And this has been your first real passage. So how do you feel? Is it what you expected? Um, a little bit of not and a little bit of yes. It's actually been quite interesting and really a lot of fun. A lot more fun than I really expected it to be. I figured it would just be nosing along in the water, but it's been really neat to be out here in the middle of the ocean and in complete dark and seeing the stars and doing a little bit of work as Little, and I mean little, <laughs> bit of work and raising the sails and, and learning what it takes to manage a boat. And it's a lot of busy work. It's non-stop busy work. It's got to be, oh, we got to move this sail. Oh, wait, the wind's changed. we got to move this sail. Oh, wait, let's take them all down and put up that sail. But I guess it's part of the fun, right? Yeah. All right, Julie, how about you? Has it been what you expected or different? I think pretty much what I expected. Yeah. Lots of learning. Lots of uh, beautiful starry nights, which... I think are my favorite part of the whole thing. I'm still waiting to see those glow-in-the-dark dolphins, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
The real one's not waves. The real one's not waves. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but the Milky Way is fantastic at night. The bioluminescence is super cool. I'm all about the night sailing, I think. <laughs> nice. So then if that's your favorite, what's your least favorite? Like, what's been one thing that you're like, well, this kind of sucks? I think constantly feeling damp. Like, you never stop feeling damp. <laughs> but I'm very happy not to have been seasick at all. It's been very comfortable. I mean, there have been some waves, but nothing big. So it's been a super comfortable passage. So I'm really grateful for that. Yeah. Ditto. Ditto on that. And super happy nobody's been sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, amen to that. No blowing chunks. Good no job, No blowing guys. chunks, yeah. yeah. Good job. Yeah. <laughs>
Nope. No, I don't know why that <laughs> Fourteen miles to go. Give you the warm and fuzzies inside? Not at all. <laughs> all right, we're gonna try to dingy over to that one sailboat, see what's going on, see if we can get somebody in the port control office. Or just maybe know. tie ourselves up or whatever. Jeez. Okay. Yep. Yay, fun. Voila. Voila. We're here. Ooh, I think I feel some rain coming. Excited to be in the Cook Islands, Cleo? Okay. Yeah, you happy to be here? <laughs> well, got a hold of the customs guy who tried getting a hold of the port captain. He was supposed to show up, but he hasn't shown up. So then the customs guy said, well, Maybe you just stay there tonight and then we'll move you in the morning and we'll have everybody come on board and check you in. So that is what is happening. We are staying right here in this very tight spot. <laughs> and uh, we'll move to that other very tight spot tomorrow. Good times, but celebratory beer. We can't go to shore, but we can drink on the boat. <laughs> Passage.